This video provides instruction on storing and recalling test setups using the Aeroflex 3920 Digital Radio Test Set. To get the most out of this video, we recommend viewing these videos beforehand. The 3920 is a highly configurable radio test instrument. When performing an assortment of measurements on a wide range of devices, the Setup's Store Recall function is an invaluable tool for saving time and streamlining the process. Any number of parameters for a specific test setup can be stored and recalled for future use. In this example, the instrument is programmed with all of the settings for a specific radio test and the settings are ready to be stored. The Store Recall tile is accessed through the Utilities menu. Instrument settings are saved to an internal directory called Stores. Directories for storing groups of settings appear underneath the Stores directory. These are settings that are stored in the Stores directory. In this example, our settings will be stored in the Stores directory. To store the settings, press the New Store Soft key. Select the File Name field and enter the name chosen for the setup. Press the Enter key to accept the name. Press the Store Soft key to store the settings. The new settings have been stored. Double clicking on the entry with a mouse or pressing the Recall Soft key while it is selected will recall the stored settings. All of the parameters for the test are recalled. The stored setting names can include letters, numbers, white spaces, and dashes. If a name is preceded by two numbers followed by a white space, a dash, and another white space, the settings can be recalled simply by entering the two numbers on the keypad. These settings can be recalled simply by typing 03 on the keypad. Stored settings can be overwritten, which is useful for adding changes to existing stored settings. Comments can also be stored with the settings. Comments are used to provide information pertinent to the stored setting. Comments are entered before the setting is stored. We've already recalled the narrowband CCIR1 settings, so overwriting the settings will not erase anything important. Selecting the setting, then pressing the New Store Soft key will overwrite the stored settings. Before storing, select the Comments field to enter any statements concerning the setup. When finished entering comments, press the Accept soft key. Press the Store soft key. Because we are overwriting a stored setting, the Overwrite soft key must be pressed. The comments we just entered now appear when the stored settings are selected. Stored settings can be organized by storing them in specific directories. Pressing the Make Directory soft key will create a directory underneath the current directory. Enter the name of the new directory. After entering the name, press the Make Directory soft key. The new directory now appears in the list. The new directory is empty, so we'll add the current setup to it by pressing the New Store soft key. 
The file name that was last accessed shows up in the file name field. We'll rename this file as the first file, then store the settings in the new directory. Eventually, several related setups will be grouped in this new directory. The instrument contains a large number of store recall samples. The samples are an excellent place to start storing other advanced setups. A lot of the work in setting up ranges, limits, and other parameters is already done. Simply recall a sample that represents the type of test to be performed, then modify and store the settings under a new name in a different directory. The transmit voice test sample has been modified with different generate and receive frequencies. When saving setups, never overwrite a sample with new settings. The samples are a part of the instrument's system. The next time the instrument is rebooted, the new stored settings would be overwritten by the system. Thus, make it a practice to only store setups in the root directory under stores or in a directory you have created. 